that you have already experienced running your first Docker container, let's now take a step forward and then run an interactive Docker container. So to do that at the prompt type docker run minus it. This is running interactively and then you'll say Ubuntu bash. So this will launch a Ubuntu Linux based container and as you realize this container is not available or rather this image is not available locally so it is going to go to the server and then pull down uh, the Ubuntu container and then launch the container. And then you also notice that you have a different prompt at this uh, time. Now, this particular prompt is not coming from your computer, but this prompt is directly coming from the Ubuntu um, container that you're running on your computer. And then you will be able to interact with your Ubuntu um, container here. So uh, at the prompt, if I type list, I will be able to see a list of files that are available in my Ubuntu container. Now, if you want to be sure that this Ubuntu container is really running on your computer, so I'm going to launch the Docker desktop dashboard on my computer and then show you that right there. Now, these containers are things like, as you can see, I have three uh, finished containers that have already run to completion. Uh, this particular container is currently running on your computer and this container is running the Ubuntu container there. So uh, this is another way of launching an interactive container. Here you are able to interact with that container by uh, typing things on the screen here. So if you know Linux or Unix uh, um, system then you can type all Unix commands there and then run it in your Ubuntu container there. Now, in order to shut down the container, of course, I can exit the container here. Now, this particular uh, instance, I ran the container with the flags minus IT. So this is running the container as an interactive uh, container here. So that is why it has uh, given me access to the prompt uh, that comes directly from the container and I, I will be able to issue commands to the Ubuntu um, uh, system that is running inside the container there. So that is another demonstration of how you can very quickly launch a Docker container and see it running on your computer here. Now uh, we will move on to the next exercise where we will design and launch our own container. We will first launch a container that I have already designed for you and I have put the image on uh, the uh, do my Docker Hub account. You will pull down that image and then execute that container um, in the next exercise.